Hey everyone and welcome back. Today I'm going to teach you how to make a special kind of graph called a histogram. Histograms are a special type of graph that shows us how often different values occur in a set of data. It's a visual representation of how many times something happens. To make a histogram, you will need to collect some data. This could be anything from the heights of students in your class to the number of books each student has read. In this video, we are going to look at data that was collected about the number of push-ups that students were able to complete. The information or data from that collection is shown here in this frequency table. The column on the left represents the range of values for the number of push-ups completed, and the column on the right side represents the number of students who completed the push-ups in each range. Now we are ready to create the graph or the histogram. The horizontal or x-axis always represents the range of values. So for this histogram, the x-axis will represent the ranges for number of push-ups completed. The vertical or y-axis always represents the frequency or how many in each range. So the y-axis here will represent the number of or how many students. Next, we will plot the data from the frequency table onto the histogram. We will start by looking at the first row in the table. Three students completed between 0 to 9 push-ups, so we'll use a blue bar like this to represent this data point. Moving down to the second row, we'll use an orange bar to represent the five students who completed between 10 and 19 push-ups. It is important to notice here that the two bars are touching each other. In a histogram, the bars will always touch each other unless there is a range with zero frequency, or in our case, zero students. And as you can see in the table, all of the ranges have at least one student. Next, we'll use a red bar to represent the 10 students who completed between 20 and 29 push-ups, a green bar representing the six students who completed between 30 and 39 push-ups, and finally, a yellow bar to represent that one impressive student who was able to complete between 40 and 49 push-ups. Once you have drawn all of your bars, you have created a histogram. As you can see, histograms are a great way to visualize data and see patterns. For example, it is plain to see that most students were able to complete between 20 and 29 push-ups. And it was probably super hard to complete between 40 and 49 push-ups because just one student was able to do it. You can also see that most students were able to complete between 10 and 39 push-ups. So as you can see, histograms are a great way to really visualize data and see patterns within it. I hope this video was helpful, and if it was, don't forget to hit the like button, comment with any questions you have, and subscribe for more confidence-building math videos, because the more confident you feel in math, the more successful you will be.